Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner for Media Relations at the Northern Sun. Today, we're joined by the two time NSIC Men's Golfer of the Week, Logan Schweinefuss of Upper Iowa Men's Golf. Logan, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. You bet. Thanks for having me. All right. As we start out every show, we ask the guest to tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from small town Iowa, uh, Oshin, Iowa. Um, I'm an agricultural business major, graduated last May, and uh, came back for my fifth year here and started the MBA program. Outstanding. You said you grew up in Iowa, obviously familiar with Upper Iowa University. What was it that drew you to Fayette? Yeah, so um, growing up, I was only 30 minutes away from Upper Iowa. Um, you know, the Division II sports, it's great competition. It was, I'm a homebody, so it's nice to be really close to home. Um, I have a really good connection and relationship with my sister who ended up following me here to play golf on the women's team. Uh, so it's just nice to be close to close to family, being able to go home after this meeting. I'm probably going to run home quick before we head down to the conference tournament. Uh, excellent segue to the NSIC Men's Golf Championship, which is going to take place this Friday to Sunday at Shoal Creek Golf Course down in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, coming into the championship, you're one of the top golfers this spring in the NSIC, 73.8 stroke average so far over about 10 rounds. Uh, what's been key to your success so far this spring? Um, you know, Honestly, it's probably just having you know, an open mindset. You know, I was really disappointed last year having, you know, the senior season, that spring season, championship season taken away. Um, so I kind of viewed this fifth year as just, a, 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 you know, a bonus season. So just kind of going out every time and just trying to have as much fun and enjoying this last opportunity I have to compete for the Peacocks. All right. So you said a fifth year senior um, so you've done this for multiple years. Uh, there are a lot of different routines for athletes prior to competition. Uh, what's your day look prior to competition? And do you have any uh, pre-tournament rituals that you do? Um, no, I, I really don't have any pre-tournament rituals. Um, you know, we usually travel down the day before. Every once in a while, we're lucky enough to get down there the day before our practice round even. Um, and just, you know, get into the hotel and trying to get a good night's sleep and, uh, mentally get ready to go out and play the practice round and, uh, you know, walk with the, the coaches and figure out how we're going to attack the golf course for that week. All right. So uh, how key is that practice round and seeing the course prior to playing an actual round? Uh, it's, it's huge. Um, you know, a lot of times we're, we're going to the same, same golf courses, but, uh, you know, every year it's just nice. You kind of pick up on, you know, a, a thing, you know, a new aspect of the golf course that you missed the first time that you played there. And um, just, just different holes that you can, can spend a little bit more time focused on every time, and, uh, just figuring out what the, what the best way to play the golf course and get around there most efficiently is. As we mentioned, a two-time player of the week this spring already. However, a couple of weeks ago, uh, you played at Shoal Creek in the NSIC preview and you had a couple of your higher rounds of the spring. Uh, was it the course, weather conditions or something else you think that put you just not on your game like the other rounds this spring? And then what adjustments are you going to make this weekend? Uh, yeah, you know, the, the weather was not great when we we're down there. Uh, wind was really gusting, you know, 30, 40 mile an hour, uh, which is just tough to play in. But, uh, you know, it I could say it's the weather all the want. I, I didn't get off the tee well. It's a very demanding golf course. so. The goal is just to get down there, get comfortable with every tee shot down there and uh, just go from there. Um, how would you describe the golf course or is there a favorite hole out there that you like? Or um, it, It's a really good test of golf. It's a demanding, demanding driving golf course. There's a lot of tough par threes. Um, so it, it, it's, it's a challenge. You just got to stay sharp and uh, just can't, can't get down on yourself early in the round because uh, you know, there's a lot of holes out there that you just got to grind through, but there's a lot of birdie opportunities out there. Uh, as a team, Upper I was about the middle of the pack and stroke average uh, with the other NSIC teams going into the championship. Uh, talk about your teammates and your team goals going into this weekend. Yeah, uh, we got a lot of great players. Uh, Chris Cooksley, he's an excellent player. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he would even win this thing this coming week. Uh, Will, he's another really good player. Uh, unfortunately, on the bottom end of our lineup uh, on Monday, we had a, uh, our five guy threw out his back at practice. So he's unable to, to travel with us. So we're actually having qualifying today to figure out who's going to be playing in our five spot. 
see a lot more injuries than you would think for golfers with the, uh, the, the amount of torque on your body and the swing and everything. Talk about that experience a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I've even kind of, I've been lucky enough uh, with our trainers to get in there and uh, do some cupping on my back to try to keep me as fresh as possible throughout this season, especially since we've been playing basically every weekend um, in just such a short season. Um, but yeah, it, you know, it was really mature of, of our, uh, of our five guy to just, you know, tell coach, he's like, I, I'm just not healthy. I can't go. Uh, you know, if I can't swing, I can't play, you know, it, it doesn't do anything for our team. So, um, you know, we'll have somebody qualify in and we'll be able to go and hopefully be able to, you know, put together a good round when we need them to. Yeah. The character of your teammates, um, is something I want to lead into with, uh, the travel you talk for golf, you're playing, uh, tournaments and a lot of time it's midweek because the courses are busy on the weekend. Um, you were the elite 18 winner last year with uh, a high GPA. Um, talk about the balance it takes to be on the road, uh, competing, um, for multiple days of in the middle of the week, but still maintain that elite GPA. Yeah. You know, uh, luckily at, at upper Iowa, we set up our classes a little different. Um, you know, there, we have eight week terms instead of a full semester long. So we take, you know, two or three classes for eight weeks. Um, so I think personally for me, that, that was huge. You know, you just have, you have less class work and a less load during the season. Um, but we also, as a business major, uh, we don't have classes on Wednesday. So like you said, playing early in that week, we come back on, you know, late Tuesday night, we don't have class on, on Wednesday. So, you know, it kind of gives us a day off where we usually don't have practice and we can just kind of grind out and get all our homework done for the week that we missed from the first two days of the week. Before we let you go, uh, what are you most excited for this coming weekend with the NSIC championship, that fifth year, that last chance? Yeah, just, just that one last go at, you know, winning the conference tournament. Um, when I was deciding on coming back or not, my dad, you know, he's just like, you're going to, you're going to work the rest of your life. So, you know, just that one last time to go down there and just have the time of my life and, and just enjoy it one last time and represent the school that, you know, gave me the opportunity to, you know, play the game I love. Outstanding. Well, we're glad we got another chance. Um, as you mentioned, you got the rest of your life to work. Uh, a couple of the tournaments to go this year, spring for you. Um, fifth year senior, what are your plans post golf and post Upper Iowa University? Yeah, so uh, my dad uh, owns a grain elevator uh, and then we farm. So the plan after school is to, to go back and work with my dad and uh, start farming with him as well. Excellent. Uh, obviously, Feeding America, our farmers. So thank you for, uh, for that. Um, best of luck to you in the future, including this weekend at the NSIC Championships. You'll be joining nine other NSIC teams down in Kansas City. You can follow along all that action at northernsun.org on our championship page. We'll have live scoring, hole by hole, so you can keep up to date, uh, along with daily recaps with photos and some video. Uh, that'll wrap up this week's show. But Logan, thanks for taking the time to join us. Best of luck to you and the Peacocks this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me again.